Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village. Today we're going to finish our pretzel ring base for our wreath, our candle ring, or our picture frame. Once your pretzel ring, wreath, or candle frame is completely dry, the one that you glued together, you're going to want to seal it. You need to seal it with something that's very um, solid because moisture and bugs can get in and ruin your work of art. I like to use shellac, which I dip it in the can, but you can also use a spray. If you're going to paint your wreath, you want to do it before you put it in your shellac. If you're using food, especially like chilies or candy corn, you want to glue them on before you put it in the shellac. Or perhaps you want to use a spray adhesive, spray your ring, sprinkle on some glitter or some other embellishment. And do that also before you finish your piece with some kind of sealant. Now, I like to dip it in the can because it gives it a very, very thorough and complete seal when you put it in the can. Every crack and cranny and crevice is completely covered, and I like to use thread to hang it because it covers the least amount of surface. If you don't want to buy a can of shellac, and they can be expensive, you can buy a can of polyurethane, which is much cheaper, or you can just get a spray can of clear wood finish. If you're going to use shellac, which I highly recommend, and you take it, thread it, dip it, and let it drip, and then you're going to hang it up to dry. Now, it says that it dries within a half an hour, but I leave my projects hang for most of the day because I don't want any stickiness or tackiness when I'm getting to the point where I am embellishing my project. I want to be in complete control of that. So that's how you want to prepare your base before you start doing any embellishing. You want to have a can of shellac or perhaps polyurethane or some kind of a sealant. Clear wood finish will work just as well. And remember, do whatever you're going to do to your base before you shellac it so that you will preserve this piece of art that you're working on. And that's how you prepare your base for embellishment.